Hello, everyone. I'm making this recording on October the 12th, Thursday. It's in the evening here in the United States on the East Coast where I live. And I just wanted to note something here. I haven't made any videos or uploaded anything to this channel for, I think, 10 days. And the last thing I did, I believe, was uh, last Tuesday on the 3rd of October. And I had a whole lot of things planned uh, beginning on the 6th and 7th and 8th. But Friday night or really early Saturday morning, my world was shattered. And the world in general was shocked as the news began to come in. For me, it was 2.30 in the morning when my phone sent out a notification, and it was a WhatsApp message, and it was Simka Jakovovici, my friend, the filmmaker, telling me that his daughter was in a bomb shelter in the south, down near the Gaza Strip. Zita wrote, you've probably seen a lot about that town if you've been following the news all the devastation there. And she was trapped there because of these attacks that we're all now familiar with that began, I think, around 6 a.m. Israeli time. It was on technically October the 7th. It's a time that Jews call Simchat Torah. It's the Sabbath, of course. And it's a happy holiday. It's known for singing and dancing and celebrating the end of the festival season. And there was even a dance party going on in the area. And we've all heard about the hundreds of people, 260, I believe, but they're still not counting them all. The last thing that I remember reading, slaughtered, when I say killed, it's, you know, people say they died, they killed, they're gone. No, they were butchered, they were slaughtered, they were maimed, they were tortured, they were burned alive, they were decapitated. Uh, you know, I didn't come on to go over all of that because it's everywhere. I came on to just really say, uh, I don't have the presence of mind right now, given these atrocities and this unbelievable behavior that we haven't really seen against Jews of this number since the Holocaust. And I feel like it's 1936 again. And then all the other things that we can observe where there are people that are cheering this and having parties about it and are happy about it because their enemy, as they see it, was slaughtered, or at least a lot of their women and children and babies. So that's why I haven't made any videos. I do plan to continue my prophecy series, but it just so happens that I'm going to slant it or pitch it towards the ways in which these kinds of events have happened in the past and now in the present, and the way people project them even into the future, and I want to talk some about that, whether history repeats itself and why prophecies of the Bible sometimes seem to have an application and a failure and another application and a failure dozens and dozens of times. I've already made videos talking about World War II and Adolf Hitler and how so many Jews and Christians were convinced that he was this final evil figure that Christians call the Antichrist. I mainly today wanted to tell you why I've been absent and to encourage you to educate yourself with some of the best sources. And I'm going to put in the description some videos that I would recommend as well as links to some of my social media, if you want to follow some of my thoughts as we go along. So uh, I wish you all well. I'm just so troubled and sad and angry 
to think that any human beings could treat other human beings like this. Sadly, it happens. And there are many, many examples. I feel like uh, the world's kind of stopped for a while. I guess you could call it sitting Shiva. So take care, everybody. And I hope to see you soon.